He is known for his profound influence on subsequent musical analysis through his writings. He developed a systemic approach to analyze the underlying melodic and harmonic material of tonal music. His name is Heinrich Schenker. In the world of music theory, one name stands out for his groundbreaking contributions, Heinrich Schenker, an Austrian music theorist whose ideas have had a lasting impact on the field of musical analysis. Born in Wisniewiczyk, Austrian Galicia, Schenker initially studied law at the University of Vienna. However, his true passion lay in music, and he pursued his musical education at what is now the University of Music and Performing Arts Vienna. Under the guidance of renowned teachers such as Franz Krenn, Ernst Ludwig, Anton Bruckner, and Johann Nepomuk Fuchs, Schenker honed his skills as a composer, conductor, and accompanist. However, he faced limited success in these roles. It was in the realm of music theory that Schenker found his true calling. In the early 20th century, Schenker directed his focus towards developing a systematic approach to analyzing tonal music. His ideas, known as Schenkerian analysis, proposed the existence of fundamental structures beneath the surface of compositions. These structures, he argued, provided the underlying melodic and harmonic material of the music. Schenker presented his theories in a three-volume series titled Neue Musikalische Theorien und die Fantasien. This comprehensive work covered harmony, counterpoint, and free composition, providing a deep insight into his analytical approach. To illustrate his ideas, Schenker introduced new specialized terms and notational methods, revolutionizing the way music was understood and analyzed. However, it is important to acknowledge that in the 21st century, Schenker's views on race have faced scrutiny and criticism. Despite this, his contributions to music theory remain significant, and his work continues to shape the understanding of tonal music to this day. Heinrich Schenker, born in Wisniewiczyk, Austrian Galicia in 1868, was the fifth of six children in a Jewish family. His father, a doctor, had been allowed to settle in the village. Schenker's parents were described as serious and quick-tempered. Although there is little information about his early years, it is believed that his musical talents were discovered at a young age. He went to Lemberg to study with Karl Mikuli and later continued his studies in Berezini. Schenker received a scholarship to move to Vienna, where his family eventually followed. He enrolled at the University of Vienna to pursue a law degree and also attended the Conservatorium of the Gesellschafter Music Freund. In his first year, he studied harmony under Anton Bruckner, although he held negative feelings towards him. Schenker's father's death in 1887 left the family in financial hardship. Despite his difficult circumstances, Schenker impressed his peers at the conservatorium. He was described as a student who seemed half-starved but stood out among his classmates. He would later gain high esteem for his original musical theories and his comprehensive understanding of music. Schenker's relationship with Bruckner remained strained, as he criticized the teacher's inability to explain his own propositions. However, Schenker had better memories of Ernst Ludwig, who accepted him based on his scholarship and recommended his musical compositions to pianist Julius Epstein. Ludwig also sent students to study with Schenker, indicating his appreciation for Schenker's work. Throughout his studies, Schenker excelled in counterpoint under Bruckner and piano under Ludwig, consistently receiving the highest grades. On November 20, 1889, Schenker graduated from the composition class of Johann Nepomuk Fuchs, paying only half the fee for the school year. Despite the challenges he faced, Schenker's early years and education laid the foundation for his future achievements as a composer and music theorist. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.